Good morning, guys. I almost forgot to tell you the most important thing. My name is the old mechanic. And I'm still busy on my BMW S1000R. And what a great bike this is. Wow. 160 horsepower. More than enough to kill yourself. <laughs> it's a beast. My son got the same one and he loves it. Yeah, he came from a Bandit 1200, which we tweaked up to 125 horsepower on the rear wheel. And then after, I think, 12, 13 years or so, he bought a second hand S1000R. If you look at the playlist, you can find what I did to his bike. There were some issues with the bike, but I solved it and had a lot of fun. Because yeah, wrenching on bikes, it's my, my hobby, my passion, I love it. Then I'm in my own world here, in my shed, and yeah, being busy. What are we going to do today? Well, today we're going to get our hands dirty. We need to do maintenance on the brakes. Get new brake fluid into the system. Going to use uh, the motor scan app to cycle the ABS unit. I make a few videos about it. Um, hmm. I'm gonna get the uh, calipers off, give them a real good clean. So the first thing we're gonna do is get everything ready, get you over here. It's uh, a nice job to do. Yeah, and it's easy. Also, I'm gonna show you. So, now, I would say Come on over and we start. First we are gonna uh, cover this, the tank. So that's always the first thing I do. Get the brills away, my glasses. <laughs> so guys, what do we need to clean the calipers? Now, actually that's very easy. You need something like this. I have warm water with dishwashing soap. Now, some people say oh, you can't use that because the seals and the blah 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 blah. I've been cleaning my calipers for decades and always used just warm water and dishwashing soap and I never had a problem with seals so I'm not sure where that came from but trust me but if you want to use other stuff be my guest it's just a tip then we need a wrench 12 mil to Take the caliper. Oh, whoops, sorry. Then we need a, a wrench or a tool like this. I'm not sure how this is called. 13 to get the calipers off. Guys, to take the caliper off, we're gonna get this wire loose. It's from the, uh, it's over here, we get it, okay, okay, have a ratchet with socket 13. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, that's so easy. It's so easy. Okay. The ball is out. And then this stays over there. Um, I'm going to take this one also. Okay, now I'm going to put that out of the way. Oh. So, then now, guys. Now we have to be careful not to scratch the rim. So it's a good plan to put a cloth over there and then wiggle the caliper carefully, slide it out. See? Then turn the wheel like this. Hmm, okay. Yes, we take a plier like this, and over here are two, yeah, what is it, guiding pins, blocking pins. Push that spring down, and with a bit of luck, and we have luck, <laughs> take the sliding pin, the guiding pin out. Then. Be sure to note, to observe how these uh, springs are in the caliper. And then we can easily take out the brake pads. These, these. Okay. And over here we're going to do the same. Push the spring a bit down. Hot <laughs> The top one we have to take out with this. Second guiding pin out. Hop. Take your brake pads out. Hop and hop. Mm. Now, this is how it looks now. Now comes a bit of a tricky part. To be sure that you get all the, the dirt of the pistons, you have to pump them out just a little bit. We're going to carefully start pumping them out. This one isn't coming out. Yeah, just a tiny bit. So I have to block or hold back this piston, this piston and this piston. Well, I only got one hand. So I'm going to try to see if it works like this. Yes. Okay. Mm. Now. Now we're gonna get our heads dirty. Yes. <laughs> we're gonna cover the rim. The wheel. So I'm going to put it underneath because it's going to be messy. Carefully with turning the caliper around. Now, guys, get you just a bit closer. So now it's actually very easy. We have the quast. Now, now we're going to start.
I'm gonna take a toothbrush. It's my wife's. <laughs> so, take this one. Just ordinary water. And then start to spray it. So. Now we're going to clean these springs to up, put them in over there, up, up, and give them a good clean too. This is yeah good because you're doing it yourself. I'm not sure if a dealer would do this, but I do. I usually do that, do that too. This one, no, looks good. His brother. Let's get all that, uh, yeah, what is it? Break dust off. And if you looked at my uh, calipers on my own BMW, my R, 1200 GS, they look brand new because I do this, uh, I think every year. Get them off, clean them, give them a good clean so they keep in very good condition. And when there is something going on, you're always on top of it. On those uh, uh, guiding pins, how you call them, not sure, blocking pins whatever there is some old grease and you can't get it off with dishwash soap so i use a bit of petrol so okay is this good mm, let's see yes Much better. Eh? Oh, I love this job, you know. Just being busy with my hands, showing you how I do it. And perhaps that's not the way you want to do it, but I like. It. And not for showing out. No way, Jose. Just to help you out. A lot of things you can do yourself on your motorcycle. It's actually easy. And I make those videos for all of you. Yeah, look at this. Shiny new. And this one. Brand new. So, oh, also gonna clean the rear side because in a moment we're gonna put new grease onto it. So, so. this one, okay. as you can see. Some dealers go all the way with their grease. 
watch it's half a millimeter thick which isn't necessary no just and this is in the hollow part of the piston The brake pads are in oh, good condition, not brand new, but good enough, I think, I'm sure. <laughs> These are Brembo brake pads, yeah, Brembo. We're gonna put the place of the stuff back on. Is that easy? Yes, that's very easy. We have to hmm, I think push the pistons back in. Let's see, because they are sliding in very easy. I could tr give it a try by using this one. So, and then this fits in between and I can wiggle it just a tiny bit so let's see if this works now gently oh yeah yep yep that works sometimes you have to be just slowly feel Okay, one is all the way in, then I have a bigger one, yes, and I'm gonna do the same. I could try to do it with a bit of pliers, but, and there he goes also, see, just. Perhaps if you're strong enough, you can push them back with your fingers. I'm simply not strong enough. No. So I have a few of these blocks. You could use wood or... Always be careful. Sometimes when you push these pistons in, those come out. So be sure that you watch all the pistons. Now, let's do that trick one more time. Wait a minute, Mr. Postman. So, and then now, see, watch. Carefully turn, and there you see, see? I'm barely putting any pressure onto it, barely, and there they go, hop, and I didn't scratch the pistons because I didn't use any brute force, you never need to use brute force, at least not at first, okay, and now, oops, see, oh, slides in easy too. See, those comes out a tiny bit, but that's good. This is the stuff for the upper side and this is for the lower side of my caliper. The first thing we're gonna do, we have copper grease and we gonna give it a tiny smear, just a tiny bit, and you see the imprint of the piston, and that's where we put our up, like this, then 
I love to do a bit on the side. Careful not to get your brake pads creased up. See here a tiny bit too. That's where they slide. Okay, that's one. Ready. Then his brother. We do exactly the same. You don't need much. Just a tiny bit. And also over here. That edge. And carefully. And that edge. Just a bit. Okay, then give your fingers a good clean. Oh, good clean. Yeah. Now it's actually easy. Hop. Take them like this. Slide them in. See how easy that is. His brother too, brother Louis. Okay. Okay. Now you have to hold it with your finger a bit, so they are out of the way. Then we oh. Wait a minute, we have this one, it goes underneath there, and that's easy, no more easy, hmm. wait a minute, ah, you have to put it as deep as you can, yes. There and over there. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Yes. Now watch. This is the upper side. You have to slide it underneath there. And then it pushes onto the brake pads, and then you have to push this all the way in and get the, that guiding pin in. But watch, that guiding pin has those yeah, slots. See, there is a thicker piece in the middle, and it has to go like this so it prevents also this pin from sliding out. It's blocking this pin. Now, now we're gonna do the same thing his brother. We give this a tiny smear of copper grease. Not too much but also not too little. Okay. Nice, then that side and that side, just a tiny bit, tiny bit more than enough. Then we take his brother and we do the exact same thing, just a bit where the piston press pressures press pressing yeah then that side and wait a minute and that side I always can watch scrape it off my finger and then that's more than enough 
see people almost like yeah getting it out in, in thick layers it's gonna do the opposite not working and over here we're gonna do the same first we're gonna slide in this one because then in then separate it, push that guiding pin in just a little bit. And this one goes in like this. It's a bit. Oh. Ah, this one goes easy. Easy as Dell. Yes! We're gonna mount the caliper back on and that's wonderful easy. Be careful. See? Because I pushed him in. I knew that I wouldn't scratch the rim. Be sure first we get this rubber band off. This goes underneath the bolt and the beautiful. <laughs> and now we're gonna tar them. The calipers need to be torqued with 38 newton meters. 33 and 5 makes okay, 38. I always, but that's me, give them a first. So, and now up, up, yes, yep, and then the most important thing, my yellow crayon, torqued, torqued, and now we're going to do the same on the other side. Guys, you have to press your brake lever many times to get the pads back onto the discs. But, because in my next video, I'm going to show you how to renew the brake fluid. So, I won't do that right now. And that was all for now. See you quickly. In my next video, old mechanic. Oh my god, I almost forgot to tell you the most important thing. Go to the bathroom and bring your wife's toothbrush back. Otherwise she noticed that you used her toothbrush to clean your brake calipers. <laughs> it wouldn't be your best day, I'm sure. So, quick!